Hello everyone, today I'm going to go over the version 1.3 patch for Legends of Eidolon and some of the new content, specifically the dungeon content. For the World 1 dungeon, we go into this portal here at Froggy Fields, and it takes you to this lovely little place here. And you can find a party, which will take you to a place where there are lots of people, or you can open up the shop. To start with, you won't have a whole anything to do in the shop, but you've got two different kinds of shops, the credit shop and the flurbo shop. For the credit shop, you can upgrade the RNG items that you have unlocked through the achievements that are also added. There are some items that are unlocked by default, but the majority of them are unlocked through the achievements. The next screen in the credit shop takes you to the stat boosters, where in addition to having the passive stats that you can upgrade, you also unlock these utility traits as you increase in dungeon rank. They give you various effects such as increased stats, starting with certain RNG items, uh, increased stats for having certain RNG items, and additional credits or credit flurbos. And the last tab in the credit shop is the equipment screen. You start off with access to upgrade your starting weapon and the weapon limit. And as you rank up, you unlock helmets, shirts, pants, boots, as well as pendants and rings. Currently, Fabled is the highest rank that's available for helmets, shirts, and rings. And then Superb for pants, boots, and amulets. Uh, right now, you can't get any of the other ones because they use classes that haven't been released yet. So, eventually, we'll be able to get those. In addition to that, we've got the Flurbo Shop. Now, think of the Credit Shop as upgrades for in the dungeon, whereas the Flurbo Shop are things that you use outside of the dungeon. We've got keychains, which give you a guaranteed drop of one of these special keychain items that drop in dungeons. There's the Star Talents, which you unlock as you upgrade the previous talent, eventually giving you all five of them. There's also pendants and rings that you can purchase. Additionally, you can get non-dungeon stats, which give you passive increases to your stats while outside of the dungeon. All right, so with that, I'm going to jump right in. So to go into a dungeon, you first have to create a party. It'll show down here with just your name. You can invite other people to your party. They can also request to join, and finally, you can just go in on your own. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Grand Krog's gazebo for a solo run, and we're going to see how this goes. So anything that you start with, you, event, you unlock the starting weapon and you get those starting items, they will drop at your feet and you start breaking these houses and summoning monsters. You can click on the frog up here and buy jewelry, weapons, armor, enhancers, all to power you up for the dungeon. What I like to do is buy a accessory because that they have drop rarity very frequently. And then, oops, buttons move. There we go. And then I will upgrade it and try and get drop chance. While I'm doing that, I've got my idiot over here uh, automatically killing stuff so that I can get prepared. There we go, that's some nice bonus. And now I'm going to upgrade my shirt, keep killing these guys, and pick up these drops. So then, once you've killed enemies, they will drop these items. And these items will summon the next tier of monster. So you just click, drop it like that. And it will only, con if it's one of the items that are listed on the cauldron, it will only consume up to the amount that you need if you drop them. There we go, get an enhancement on my weapon. That looks good. And then we just need one more blue frog, so 
I'll drop those two, it'll sum up on one, and then the boss comes in. So here's Grand Frogger. What are you lot doing out here at this time of night? Ugh, what is that horrendous smell? Anyway, it's time for you to go. He wants me to leave. I'm gonna punch him instead. All right, let's get that single cut. It'll drop again. This is a good combination. Get some critical and block going here. Some boss damage is always helpful. Get that better weapon. Whenever you click on a weapon to check it, it'll tell you whether or not it's stronger than your current weapon. That, gave, that one's better, so I'm gonna switch over to it. And then we'll enhance it. Uh, increase max MP. Can I buy? I cannot buy any jewelry to use that. Let's get this again. Heal up a little bit. Because that single cut will give me damage, but it'll also hurt every time I pick it up. So that shirt is very good. That had some drop rarity on it too. Get to you. Enhance the shirt. Enhance the hat. Put on some pants. Technically. Character's still naked, but... Then Can of Varnish is a good one. It gives you a rusty blade and also increases the effect of the rusty blades. Some people will go with gray only builds. I feel like they're a little boring, so I usually try and get some better, some higher tier items when they present themselves to me, especially when it's some good ones. And 30% total damage is pretty much the best thing out here. Put on some shoes. Get some armor enhancers for the pants and legs that I just got. Alright, better, better shoes, enhance them. Boss damage, very nice. Buy some RNG items, and we got ninja smoke is not very good, so I'll just get the, uh, the muscle memory. Not really useful either, but if I end up chopping some trees, then it can be helpful. And so you go through here, and each different house has different enemies in it. And you get automatic uh, RNG item drops uh, every two minutes. It drops at the 55 second marker. Uh, I think Lava implemented it as that so that it was easier than making it so that it didn't drop at zero. So now we've got all but these last two houses with the strongest enemies in them. These dice give a little bit of an added chance to get another loot dice. More dice is always good, so I'm not going to look that gift horse in the mouth. Might as well pick it up. Get some more RNG items. Let's go with the critical hit. Alright, so these are the hardest spawning enemies in the World 1 dungeon. And the hut is very sturdy to account for that. We're gonna do this little trick with the maestro. I've got those blue things which give me increased damage when my mana is full. So I trigger up the skill and then wait for my mana to regen before firing it off. This makes sure that I do not, that I do get my damage bonus. Because if you see, I do way less damage when my mana isn't full. Lizards, punch them. Right, that's much better pants than I had. Oop. Let's step out of here, buy some more jewelry, get another ring. Should go into slot one, there we go. And I forgot to wait. Okay, there we go. Oops. Okay, just take it that damage, um, the cycler, the, another cycler, sharp eye, why not, and can I get a pendant? I can get a pendant, very nice. Now enhance the pendant too, oh, I already had one. The extra dice chance doesn't work right now, maybe eventually. Okay, so we've got blue, bubble, gold, and red. Blue, bubble, gold, and red. 
and it only took what I needed to summon the next boss. If more items drop on the ground, it will consume them, so you'll want to be careful of that. If you're killing a bunch of enemies at a time with coins like I am, see there a bunch of the balloon guys just spawned. Let's get another jewelry enhancer, see if we can't get something good out of here. Okay, works for me. So here's level 2 Grand Frogger. He's got more health and ooh, a card drop. Very nice. And then when he dies, we get this scary face and the final wave. So we need bubble, gold, red, and the scary thing. So we did not get enough red, so let's drop those ones that I just picked up. Oop. Don't pick them up again. There we go. Alright, let's... Alright, so I've got enough of the gray guys. Now I just need... to kill them and get them to drop the eye. Get a stardew drop. That hat, boss skull, enhance the pants. Oh, I forgot to enhance them. Enhance your pants. Wait for your mana to regen and throw some coin. Toss that money around. Alright. Let's keep summoning guys. Pretend that they're not here. Are you kidding me? This is not going well for me. These shedding guys do not want to drop anything. And I've only got a minute left. I kind of wanted to show you guys the uh, third boss. He's exactly the same as all of the other ones. Just has more health and is a different shade. But... That's okay. Nobody's going to be able to kill him for quite a while anyway. So now I just want to keep killing these guys because my main goal for this is the credit and flurbo drops. That's what you really want out of this. So you just want to kill as many enemies as you can. If you've killed everything, you're all out of drops and you've still got time left, you can chop the tree. And if we're lucky, we'll get to see it spawn a monster. No? Nothing? There it goes. Punch the frog. Alright, and we got four loot rolls. Let's see what we got. Two, 91, 76, and 68. Alright, so we got high enough to get a tier 1 keychain. This one gives us one defense, two agility, and 4% money. The tier 1s aren't very good. There are much better that you can get, but they suit their purpose while you're still working on getting better ones. And now that time is out, it just gives me some time to leave. I can buy things from here if I really want to look at them, but it doesn't really matter. And now we leave the dungeon. All of our dungeon specific stuff is gone and our inventory slots are emptied back out. So. Any drops that you still have in your inventory will also disappear when you leave. Uh, you can't keep them and there isn't any way to put that, to store them or anything like that. Right, and uh, in addition to Grand Frog's Grotto, we've also got the World 2 Dungeon. See, this door that used to be here in Bandit Bob's Hideout has been replaced by a crevice. And then we can talk to this guy over here. Oh, he's just as uh, unpersonable as Bandit Bob is. Let's see what he wants. Well, he's got some quests, so he wants us to do the dungeon. There are also storage chests in both dungeon locations. You can put things away or take them out. So you got to stand on top of the rope and click towards the top of it to go down. And the screen will scroll for you. 
Okay, so we've got the shop here just like we do in the other dungeon. I'm going to go ahead and spend my dungeon credits since uh, I got some saved up. I think I'm actually gonna... Let's see, I kind of want to upgrade that, but at the same time, we've got some things to upgrade down here. You know what? I'm gonna save up, actually. And uh, I'm still saving up my Dungeon Cuervos, too, because I want to, you know, do something with them. I'm not sure what. So I'm just saving them. Rainy day, all of that. So now we have the Crypt of Snick and Hotep. Kind of creepy. Oh, and we have cards. A whole new mess of cards, all for the dungeons. And the, here's the one that I picked up the other time. I need one more to get it up to silver. Did I set my... I did not set my card set. When you get enough, you can unlock the dungeons card set, and it'll give you more dungeon credits. Always a nice bonus. So, now we're gonna go into the Crypt of Snake and Hotep. Let's go in here alone again go into the door, pick this up, man I'm slow, oops, alright, so a little secret here, you get the actual final boss if you break all of these, and you get little bonuses from breaking them open too. You can get two different success levels for the missions. You can either fail, which is if you fail, you, you know, don't do the mission, or you can uh, get a success, a pass, just like that, or let me see if on one of the other ones I can get the other one. It is a Wazam. I shouldn't have this much money. Hmm. That's a bug. Oh, well. Ooh, there we go. Let's do a gray build on this one. Ooh, wasted item. So sad. Um. Okay, forget it. We're gonna waste the the one that we got for the Grey Glum Grumblow instead. Oops, I did that in the wrong order. Fucking heart. Cancer ring. Vampire fangs. Uh, that's gonna be, what? Three base damage. Gives two helping hearts as well. Let's go for it. some more armor. Oh well, I can use it. And then got a second ring and we're out of money. All right, let's head on to the next one. All right, so now we've got to defeat all of the Krabby Cakes. have enough damage to actually pass this one and it is okay if you fail some of them you don't actually have to succeed on every single one because you get 30% for a pass Ooh, lots of damage and you get more for a uh, wazam okay that's good those ones are weak these ones are kind of weak too 30 seconds left. Let's see if we can do it. Punch you, punch you. 25 seconds. And the last one with the skull stone. There we go. Now we've just got to wait for the timer to run out. And we're going to get our Wazam. Probably. 
Or maybe not. I might have taken too long. I don't actually know what the qualification for this one is, because this is the first time I've cleared it. We got a Wazam. Nice. Alright, let's do more cash and increase our block chance whenever we get hit. Very nice items. Let's get an RNG item, a jewelry enhancer. There we go. Oh, whoop. Whoops. Okay, now this one is fun. You gotta count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, missed. Nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. Thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-five. Roll that beautiful beam footage. Wazam! Let's get that. Another can of varnish. Enhancing better weapon. Sell those shoes. Uh, I'm gonna... Oops, never mind. Jewelry enhancer, I don't think. Yeah. There we go. That's real nice. Let's see if we can't get some armor we don't have yet. Nope. But. Oh. Oh, yeah. So I picked up the RNG voucher, which lets me sell enhancers and get RNG items. So let's uh, just. While we've got time to sit around here, because this is never going to kick me out. I can just keep, as long as I don't misclick and actually walk over, I can do that. And then selling those enhancers gave me enough money to buy more enhancers. So I can sell these. And now we're going to move on. Alright, so now defeat all of the prison sandy pots. Beware of Warden Biggie. giving me that stank eye. Alright, do the primary objective first. Grip that shirt. Whip it. Whip, whip it. Take these guys down. Alright, and since I've got some time to kill, I'm going to take on Biggie. Yeah, he does a little bit of damage. Oop, that was a mistake. Punch him. Yeah, take him out. Ooh, some Flurbos and some credits. Now I've just got to wait for the timer to run out. Ten more seconds. And I'm at 100% progress, so it doesn't even matter if I succeed on these last ones. Got another Wazam, too. Alright, let's do the Recycler, because I don't like those ones. Some Sugar Rush. Big old belly, because I need some food. Buy another RNG item from him. Recycler, I guess. More Sugar Rush. And let's move on to the last room. In this room, we've got to try and spill the sand. So, there will be little pools of sand that will spawn after they die. And we're trying to get as much coverage as we can. I don't really care because I've already got 100%, so I'm just going to wildly kill them all. While selling their delicious drops. Or equipping them in the case of those fists. I could have used that enhancer on my shirt. Um, this one's pretty good. Let's get it. Whip them. 
Now I got 89.2% coverage. Uh, I probably could have, I could have gotten better, but whatever. And there is a timer, it's just not shown on this one, so we're gonna sit here and wait for it. All right, we got a pass, so I'll be increasing my drop rate, buying another RNG item from him, because why not? Skilling speed can be useful in here for rooms that we haven't encountered. Let me just, okay, did not have anything on there. Now we've got extra cash, and now we are in the boss room. This is the tomb of Snake and Hotep. He has mentioned that I destroyed all of his skull rocks. He is disappointed. Good. Gonna punch you down. Pick up your stuff. Then I'm gonna punch you down. Throw some money at you. Make you go away. That's how that works, right? Pick up his stuff. Break the rock. Get those credits. Whip it good. He's got a decent amount of health going here. So this will just take a little bit. There we go. He's been defeated and we get the credits and a loot roll. We're going to get a 40 on this one. And the secret pathway has opened. This gives us another set of levels. We've got some switches to stand on with these slabs of steak guarding them. Weirdos. Gotta flip the switch. Gotta flip all the switches. you. Past you two. Switch flipped. Here's our stone. Throw some money at it. Yeah, I've got a little bit of time left, but not that much time. Walk on by. There we go got all the switches flipped so now it's just a matter of punching guys down and be careful about this you will reflip the switches if you stand next to them and then you can flip them again after a little while and I want to take these guys down because in addition to having drops they also can give me their cards Bounce it off his face into the other guy. Get out of my way. Okay, we've got three, two, one, zero, and wazam. And let's get some more food, because always need some food. Uh, rusty blade. Get an RNG item again. Unbalanced scale, I guess. Uh, let's get some new armor. See if we can get some pants. Hooray! Upgrade those pants. And then I'm going to do the enhancer loop again. Just one cycle this time. Let's see if I get any drops. It's only about a 10% chance per time. So... All whammies. Dudes out for their morning stroll. Go ruin their day. Gladly. Dude is a jerk. Him. Pass. 
us do sugar rush so we can punch faster. Uh, let's save up a little bit of money first before we do any of that. Alright, so we got 40... Alright, so we got to do this one now. 40 cubes. These guys hurt quite a bit more. same number every time. That's terrible. Eight. This is very, very painful. Eleven. I'm not going to survive. Twelve. I've got to make an executive decision here to uh, not die horribly. Yep, I figured I was going to fail. It's just a matter of time before it cut me off. That's why I gave, kind of gave up a little bit. That's all right. We're at 68%. All right, so we've got to defeat all the mafiosos, but don't get coconut water on me. That's interesting. All right, let's step back. cross over in front of them. Oh, and that stake level, I forgot to do the, uh, I forgot to go over to the other side and get the, uh, Skullstone. I'm not going to be able to do the, uh, the special screen, even if I do manage to get all the progress. Because I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to get a Wazam on the uh, next one in order to complete this. I just don't have enough damage. That's what it is. Oof. Okay, I wonder if I can stand right next to them and not get coconut water on me. doesn't really matter because I do not have nearly enough damage for this one either. There's a hard damage check on these world too. For these second stage ones. Failed. Pick up some food. Doesn't matter that I didn't get that on this one because I didn't get it on the last one either. Okay. Let's just keep going. Alright, so leave the Grumblos alone. Kill the uh, targets. Oh man, this is going to stink. This is going to be real bad, guys. They're going to start spawning a lot faster. And I might as well get the bonus drop from this. It gives me credits just thought about that. Oh, and of course the target spawns behind me. There will be plenty of targets to hit. Man, 
Is it gonna, isn't it just gonna sink when I pass on this one? And I'm at 98%. And so I don't even get to fight the second, bo the second tier boss and stand there and punch him for hours. Oops. I might even fail. Did not mean to hit the Grumblow. These guys piecing out on me. No. So I pass 98%. Man, that's disappointing. Well, I get a consolation prize, I think. Search well, I can tell you didn't truly find what you're looking for. So yeah. So that means that I uh, failed to complete it. Man, these things have a lot of health. Alright, I'm gonna just stand here and punch these for a while. I feel like there's something to say here about uh, sunk cost fallacy, because even though I've only gotten him down like what one fifth health, I'm just dedicated to at least finishing punching this guy down. Halfway there. Man, I'm glad that for your guys' sake that I'm speeding this up because you do not want to sit here and wait for this. Almost there, he's got a sliver. Just a little sliver left. Let's go. Now he's got nothing. He's so close. We're gonna take him down, we're gonna punch him out. Oh no. He gave me a loot roll. Now I've gotta do the other one, right? 56. Let's just go behind him and punch this. Uh, do I really have the patience to do that again? don't have the patience to do that again. I'm just gonna leave it there. Alright, and that is the two dungeons that are out. I didn't get all the way into World 2. If I had succeeded at that and actually managed to kill those enemies, which would have taken a very long time, then I could have accessed a, a third set of five levels. And then, uh, there's the final boss, which right now there's no way I'd possibly do enough damage to him. So, we finished this guy's quest. So, let's see. Water progress. He'll awaken the boss, and you know he's going to have that loot on him. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to go back and do that another time. 
His quest gave me 15 credits and 2 loot rolls. Let's see what he gives me. 16 and 19. That's pathetic. Well, that is going to be all for now. I'm going to have some more informa some more videos and information coming out soon for some other features that were added with this, such as the achievements and the arcade system that's been added into World 2. Stay tuned for those, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my content. I always appreciate any feedback that anybody gives me. Have a good one, guys.